Hi everyone. This is just a quick video to show two useful techniques within MuseScore. This is using MuseScore 4. And what I'm going to quickly show you in this video is number one, how to add figured base, and number two, how to add text underlay and how that works. So first of all, this is my little recitative project. And uh, as in many recitatives, I would like to make this um, a first inversion chord. So I'd like to add a six, basically, to make this a C major chord with uh, an E in the bass. So what I'm going to do here is go down to Add and then Text. Add is one of the menu items at the top. I think it might be cut off in this screencast, but hopefully you can see the rest of the menu. I'm going down to text. I'm going to choose figured base and simply add six. If I want to make, make things a bit more complete, for example, I can hit enter and do six three. Um, I can do things like sharp. That's not what I actually want in this case. Uh, you can do the letter B, the lowercase b that looks like a flat. Mu score knows you mean flat, and it can make a note flat like that. I can change this, you know, however I'd like to do it. I can make it as elaborate as I want. Um, you know, whatever sort of wild chord I want to ask for, I can do that this way in the figured base example. For right now, we just want it to look like a standard six. Just click away. And uh, it's helpfully given me this line to show that even though the notes above me are changing, hold this chord out, C major in the first inversion. The second tool you might find really useful um, for the recitative project or any other project that you do in MuseScore is how to add text underlay. And this process is pretty consistent for most notation software. Sibelius also does it this way. Um, so again, I'm going to the Add menu up at the top. It brings these options down. I go to Text again, and I want Lyrics. This is going to give me a cursor below the notes, and it's going to follow the notes pretty closely. So as I type the words in, what I want to do is hit Space to advance to the next note uh, and the next word. Or if I have a word that needs to be broken up across multiple notes, you know, I have a, a word with multiple syllables that needs to go across multiple notes, I'm going to type a hyphen in between each of those syllables. So I happen to have prepared this a little bit in advance uh, with a book that I just had laying around. This is the blurb from the back of your oral skills book. And it begins with space the space sixth. Now I've got a multi-syllable word, sixth edition. I'm going to write E hyphen D I hyphen T I O N. Um, often the rule is that your new syllable should begin with a consonant. Um, so E gets its own syllable, D I, and then T shun gets the third syllable, and that's kind of how you divide them. Uh, then I hit space and I go on. So those uh, hyphens have shown me that it's the same word, edition. Um, go on to the next here. A new approach. Uh, with a doubled consonant like in approach, the first one gets to be part of the first syllable, the hyphen goes in between. Approach um, to site. Sing hyphen ing. And then I'll simply click away. Uh, if you hit enter, it'll try to do a second line of text. So I simply click away from there, and now I've got my text in here. Uh, right, and it formats it nicely. If I were to move the notes around, it would automatically do it. You can sort of see that it's spaced things out on its own, trying to make them as even as possible. Some things are a little uneven. I might want to tweak it a little bit visually. Oops. Maybe there we go. I might want to drag things around visually just to give things a little bit more space to breathe on the page. But as you can see, it's pretty nicely responsive to the things that I might want to do. And it 
overall makes it pretty readable. I might want more space here. Something like that. So, figured base, text underlay, they can both be handled very easily uh, with these options under add, text, and either lyrics or figured base. Ironically, figured base are numbers, not text, but they're under text. Um, finally, something else that you might want to use in other contexts is Roman numeral analysis. So maybe we'll, to, we'll go to our second chord here and show you that Roman numeral analysis works just like the figured base where, let's say if I put a Roman numeral and uh, if I were to put a figure on it, it would go make the figure nice and small, hit, uh, don't hit enter, multiple figures will go under automatically. So what I did by accident there, I hit four, enter, and I got out of the figure. What I actually want to do, you can do this. And of course, this is not four, six, five. The real interpretation of this chord might be two, six, five. Space will take me to the next beat. Beat two, same thing. Beat three, beat four, same thing. Beat five, we'll make it a five chord. So. There you have it, three useful techniques within MuseScore, figured base, Roman numeral analysis, and text underlay.